is then in each one, there's also a hidden Mickey. Or you can hear someone going, Bruce! <laughs> but I do think if I was ever able to afford one, I would start with this one here. This is one of my favorites. Did you see the other side too? Yo, oh, yeah. <laughs> and it kind of represents like, you know, Walt's first dreams of Disneyland when he was with his kids. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Mikey Magic vlog. I am once again joined by Gene Fitzmagic, keep it in the magic family. Uh, earlier today, we did a vlog, our previous vlog. I ate a bunch of my favorites around the world. I'm starting off this vlog drinking some Beverly as in, this is another favorite of mine. Yes, Beverly from Club Cool, Italy. It is delicious. I don't know why everybody hates it. It's sweet. Yeah, it has a little bitter aftertaste, but it kind of just lingers nicely in the back of your throat. I'm, I'm gonna stop right there. I love Beverly and you should too. So in the last vlog, I talked about how short Festival of the Arts actually is. This festival is only here from January and like half of February. But one of my favorite things about this festival is the actual art. The artists are cast members or outside artists and they're here to showcase their work. And also if you are a fan of their work, you can come and meet them, get your favorite artwork signed by them. There's just so much to do with art. So I'm going to do my due diligence and kind of take you around Epcot and show you all these beautiful piece of artworks, all these different styles, techniques, and then hopefully maybe I can even connect with a couple of artists or at least the art dealers to find out if you are interested in purchasing this art, where to do so and how to. So let's go take a look at some art. So for today, I guess you can consider me your virtual art dealer, but come along for the show as I'm going to show you all these different types of artwork with Gene Fitzmagic and he is currently holding two peach iced teas because we do have an artist that we're kind of friends with. I'm going to stop by and bring him a nice little cool beverage since the sun is out right now. So we are approaching Craig Skaggs, which is one of the artists here. We've had the opportunity to talk to him a bunch of times, and now we're just going to bring him a nice cool peach tea. <laughs> All right, since we bought Craig Skaggs a nice peach iced tea, I'm just going to showcase some of his work here. And what's really great about his work besides the work itself is then in each one there's also a hidden mickey i didn't find it in the pirates one i don't think we found it in the pirates one yet uh, another cool detail about this pirate one is that there's actual names of his friends and family on these different islands it's really cool when i was first here and i saw this i was like oh He's got like Elizabeth Swan's name in there. <laughs> but no, he actually came over and he told us that these are all his friends and families. And oh, look, well, Mikey Magic's got a shout out there too. <laughs> and another fun fact that he told me is that rum is actually spelt with an H. So it's R-H-U-M. And that basically is a general idea of rum. The R-U-M is a specific type of rum, which is also really cool. And I just realized too, my favorite number is in there as well. 16 for my birthday, but yeah. One of the really cool things about this piece of art here that he told us, he came as kind of the inside, is because Disney only wants to sell the square orientation of art or put it in that type of frame, is that this canvas is actually on a separate canvas, canvas by itself. So it's a circle canvas and then he had to add in this second canvas here to give it that orientation. So that's really cool because this would be a nice standalone canvas by itself, which it's, that's how it started out. Wait, you said you found the hidden Mickey in the Moana one? Yeah. The Moana one I love too, but... Right here. Where is it? Oh, yeah! Nice little hidden Mickey up there. That's really cool. Nice. In the Tron, I remember... Oh, yeah, yeah, right down here. You can see down there, the hidden Mickey there. And then we just found... Oh, this one in the spoon of Ratatouille. See a little hidden Mickey. And then we also just found this one right here. It's really nice. Anytime you see a red dot, it means that piece has sold. And these are also some other pieces that arrived a little late, but you can see Bruce there. And Craig says every time somebody walks by, he could see or he can hear someone going, Bruce! <laughs> and that one is really cool down there too, because it also represents not just Mickey Mouse. He's not just pointing upward, but he's representing the 100 years of Disney. So, you know, as I look at the artist's names, I'm probably going to butcher a bunch of them. Um, but this is Rodel Gonzalez. Wow, look at this one. That is really nice. I mean, all of these are beautiful. You're not going to see any bad artwork here. 
just different interpretations. <laughs> I love the Hades down here. That's so great. Nice Haunted Mansion one. Oh, I love this Haunted Mansion one from Disneyland. That is really cool. Oh, look at this Pirates one down here. <coughs> the next artist is Jim Warren. And he's got a couple of pieces that I really appreciate and like. Go take a look at his work. That's awesome. Look, I just found me and Chrissy. <laughs> me and Chrissy in the future. Oh, that's actually, oh, that's so beautiful. You see them as older folks together, and there they are in the reflection as kids. That is a beautiful, beautiful painting. I don't really, can't say too much other than put my pinky up and sound educated, so all I can say is that it is beautiful. And in this area, they just have the most amazing <laughs> statues. And, or I shouldn't even say statues, because they're like end tables, like coffee table types. I feel like this is what you would find in the entryway if you walked into, you know, my house, if I had a million bajillion dollars to afford this. But yeah, this would be in like the main entryway. But it's just the details of these, like, table stands are incredible. I love this one. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. I mean, I'm such a fan of Sorcerer Mickey. Yeah. But it's just so cool. Yeah, the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs down here as well. This one I feel like I've seen at festivals prior. Olaf. The one. Yeah, the villains one is sick. That is so cool. And again, one day, you know, how's the saying go? When I win lottery, sure. <laughs> Gotta play lotto to win. But I do think if I was ever able to afford one, I would start with this one here. This is one of my favorites. Did you see the other side too? Yo, oh yeah. <laughs> this is beautiful. And you got Captain Hook and Peter Pan. Like I said, this is gonna be in the foyer one day <laughs> when I have my house. All right, so I'm entering the World Showcase. And of course I see a bunch of Donald Duck and I had to stop. This is so cute. It's like a little film strip. Oh, I love this one. This is definitely Chrissy and me. <laughs> that is so funny. Stitch. And just to put in perspective how big they are, like my hand is the size of one piece there. That is so cool. <laughs> And it's got just such great personality in them. Goofy. Being goofy. <laughs> These are really cool. I've been seeing a lot more Robin Hood too lately and I like that. Aww. That's cool. Yeah, that would be a nice piece for my kitchen. Chrissy would never allow it though. <laughs> this smaller one, that's not bad. 150 bucks. Oh, it's by Trevor Carlton. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So this booth here is by Trevor Carlton. If that name sounds familiar, it's the guy who's always dancing up on stage while he's painting. Uh, he does a really great live performance here at the Festival of the Arts. And this is a collection of all the fine art here by numerous artists. But one that I saw from a distance that I love is this one right here. The Disney Bros Studio representing... Ro uh, Walt and Roy, <laughs> Oswald and Mickey. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, Figment's overrated. I say it a thousand times. I think Figment is overrated. Oh, I love this one too. <laughs> Walt's on this train with everyone. Really cool. I actually really love the power line. Like, Movie Movie is definitely one of my favorite films of all time when it comes to Disney. Just reminds me of my dad or me and my dad. My well, dad's not as goofy, but yeah. And you can definitely see the different technique here as you go from booth to booth. This is really cool. Oh my gosh, I love this Haunted Mansion one. I love the colors in that one there. <laughs> the new animation, yeah, of Mickey, Donald, and Goofy. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. First movie, right? Yep. I know. So that is the first Mickey Mouse cartoon and also Minnie Mouse. I feel like she always gets the short end of the stick, but she did premiere with Mickey in Plain Crazy, but 
Mickey's theatrical debut is, of course, uh, Steamboat Willie. I thought it was Plain Crazy. No, Plain Crazy is the first film of Mickey Mouse, but he made his theatrical debut oh. in uh, Steamboat Willie. That's why Steamboat Willie is like the literally the poster for Mickey Mouse. I just thought it was just like, you know, more popular, but I just thought Plain Crazy was first. Yeah, well, Plain Crazy is first. Just there was Plain Crazy, there's another one. Steamboat Willie is actually the third installment of a Mickey Mouse cartoon. Oh, I'll get you saying. Yeah. Uh, but it took a long time to get to the next booth, and I saw this one approaching, and this one looks really cool. This partner statue one is awesome. I love the detail, especially in his tie. He's got that, um, I forgot that ranch, the name of the ranch. Do you remember what the name of the ranch is? I don't. Uh, I can't think of the name off my head, but this one is done by Greg McCullough, it looks like. <laughs> These are really funny and cool. I love the haunted mansion one, the three hitchhiking ghosts. Just look at Donald's face. And then I noticed this one over here for Tower of Terror. Little maniacal Mickey down there. <laughs> That's funny. That's cool. And it looks like these are all the works of uh, Greg McCullough. Are you like the old Apple one? These are amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I didn't see that at first. There's a hidden Mickey in there. Usually you can see these things better on camera too. But yeah, you can kind of see the outline of Mickey's head there. That's cool. But I mean, this one, wow. That is incredible. It looks like a photo. It really does look like a photo. You know, I was going to say that, but I didn't know if I would sound stupid. But now that you said it, it doesn't sound stupid at all. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. That's a cute one, too. I was like, oh, Mickey on Everest. But no, it's got the Everest mountain there. That's pretty cool. This one, too, is great, too. The World Showcase. Like all in one shot. With the illuminations cube in the middle. And this is going to be one of the bigger artists here at the festival, Noah Elias. He even has his own art school as well. I'll put the link in the description too to uh, his art school. But he's got a couple of great Walt Disney ones. Uh, I don't know if you can see them in the upper right hand side there. It's really cool. He's also got this great Pirates one up here too. So those are the three Walt ones. Well, there's actually four. Um, I've always seen those three. I love them. I actually have that one there. Just love it. I love seeing the Walt art. This one's really cool. Again, Fantasia Mickey or Sorcerer Mickey. I just love the colors, the way that pops on there. I wonder if I can emulate something that using digital art on the app that I use, which is called Procreate. I may try that. Again, I'm talking to you like I know what the hell I'm talking about. But, like I said, the only thing I can really say, yeah, I'm the art connoisseur. I drink with my pinky up and play classical music. The only thing you don't know is that there's chocolate milk in my cup. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> and look at this. This is awesome. So this is going to be William Silver's. This is his booth here, right outside of Italy. And I just love that Ariel. That's awesome. And then I know Chrissy loves this one here, a Rapunzel from Tangled. I love this one with the characters in the foreground, partner statue, Main Street, and the castle in the background there. And what I really love about this one is too, is like I got a clear eye of Main Street there, but I can also see the front of the castle. So the next art booth from all the way over there is a Disney gallery collection, or Disney artist gallery, I should say. But some of the artwork is really cool. I love this one down here. We got some modern, Graffiti with Mickey, the glass slipper. It's kind of like a Game of Thrones vibe up here. It's pretty cool. See, oh, they got Darkwing Duck. The Darth Vader one is sick. Another Goofy movie one. Yeah, Darth Vader looks really cool. And then right after Morocco, right before the Encanto booth, there's another Disney gallery artist 
just of all mixed artwork from different artists. But we actually have one of the artists over there signing their artwork, which is really cool. Oh, I love that Mickey and Minnie on Main Street outside the ice cream parlor. It's really cute. Oh. Oh, that's a nice enchanted one up there, too. That's something original I haven't seen yet. Another artist, Daniel Killen. He's here signing his artwork, and I love this one. That one is so cute down there. Again, I'm not going to really have anything crazy to say other than it's cute, it's beautiful. Wow. Those are the familiar words you'll probably hear right now. Like, wow, <laughs> look at that villain's one. That's really awesome. Oh, awesome. There's another word for you. Yeah. That's sick. Yeah, hell yeah. I kind of like this one, too. Like, with the letters in the background. Great Mouse Detective, right? Mary Poppins, yes. Nice. Robin Hood. Yeah. Wow. Great observation, Gene. Stellar. <laughs> no, I didn't see that before. That's really cool. Well, oh, I like that. I like that Main Street one, or uh, I should say Magic Kingdom one. That's pretty awesome. Kind of a layout leading up to the castle. That's pretty cool. And I really love the way the color pops on this here. Like that blue is just sick in the background. And even the Aladdin one too. It's got such great color to it. All right, and approaching the last booth that we're going to show some art at is one of my recent favorites. I mentioned him in a previous vlog, Rob Kaz. He has his own original characters, including Bew the Frog. But it was the Donald and Daisy staying at the Contemporary that made me a fan or drew me to his page. I don't even see it here. I'm sure it's sold. But he's got a really, like, a lot of great ones here. One of my favorites, of course, is Walt holding Mickey and Minnie's hand looking at the carousel. And it kind of represents, like, you know, Walt's first dreams of Disneyland when he was with his kids. <laughs> this one is really cute, too. Uh, Stitch helping some tiny, you know, the Disney ducks that kind of look like Donald Duck. But across the walkway, you can see he's stopping traffic to guide him across. I love this one. But, yeah, there's also a Donald and Daisy one. Looks like at the Contemporary. I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't see that one last time. This is Hollywood Studios. Oh, cool. I like the uh, compass, like that film reel up there. That's pretty sick. And these are some of his original characters that accompany his original character, View the Frog. It's View the Frog and Friends, and these are the friends. He's got a runaway train. Oh, there's a Donald the Daisy one. Yeah. I love that one. And usually he's here signing, and I think he may be. Uh, yeah, he's over here signing some artwork. Like I said, I became a fan from his Instagram, so if you are interested in purchasing any of Rob Kaz's work, you can reach out to him. Uh, but once again, I'll link uh, his Instagram so you can follow along as well. And that's going to do it for my art walk here at Epcot to showcase some of the artwork around here in case you can't make it to the festival on time. Betterly known as Farts, Festival of the Arts. Of course, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. On this video, give a big thumbs up to support all the artists. But until next time, this is Mikey Magic reminding you to create your own magic and we hope to see you real soon.